Um, what you need is your first of all the avatar you want to use. Make sure that if it's for gesture overrides, they have fingers. Um, if they don't, the gesture overrides won't work. The development kit that you used for it to upload to your account, and then a song or sound effects or whatever you need. Um, it needs to be converted to an OGG file. Uh, MP3s I don't think work. Um, so you just get your normal MP3. I usually go to this website and then just convert it or oh, there's probably hundreds of other ones but that's the one that I use. So yeah first of all what you want to do is you want to create the avatar. Um, so like what it is without the gesture override. So you still need to have the music playing so we'll go through the different parts of his body um, what I like to do is I like to play it through his like hands you can also have like objects in his hands as well so you get to where it says hand you right click and you go to audio audio source from here this is where it is you can fuck around with it and move it around change the size um, and then once you've got that you drag the audio file to where it says audio clip um, so yeah essentially what this means is this is going to play that song like that so then what you want to do is you want to click on the audio source and then go to the top right then unclick it so it's invisible um, that's this is so it doesn't play the music all the time you want to duplicate it and then just rename it to dummy song so what this is for is for the duplicate one is this is the before and then when you do the gesture it switches to this one that's that's essentially all it does so in this one um, you go back through to the audio and then you just click it so it's enabled so with that that all it means is you've got one without audio one with audio so when you do the gesture it switches to the one with the audio that's all it is and um, so when you're on the the second one the duplicate one with the audio you want to go to animation tab create um, dummy song just for the sake of that um, then you want to add properties you can go through the animators and you can add fingers if he's holding a gun you can add like the the whole sort of hands essentially um, and you can change it so it's hands like wrapped around like a gun or something um, for audio purposes if it's just purely for audio I mean you don't have to do that I usually like to maybe just put one in so that is it, if it's the animation you're trying to do it at least you can tell if the fingers move it's worked so you can mess around with that you don't have to have them you also want to go back through the parts of the body to the um, let's see and You've got the audio source again, you want to make that active. And then, I'm not 100% sure why you have to do this part, but if you go to this part here, delete those dots, click the top of that so you've highlighted all these, copy, then put it to the to 0 0.01. That just means that the it flicks between them two, so whenever you do the gesture, it stays on. Whereas if you had it for like ten seconds, it would run to that and then reset. And I don't think that would work. So that's the animation created. So what happens now is uh, when we want to do the animation, his fingers will twist a little bit, but the sound will be played. Um, so you go back to your project, and you've got the the animation parts here. Um, if they don't show up here, they will be somewhere within these folders. You just have to look around. Um, so now you can make the avatar with the sound invisible. 
and make the normal one the one that everyone will see prior to the gesture active. Um, now go to the development kit, you want to go to examples, sample as, animation, um, and then you've got the, the fourth one here which is custom override. You want to control D um, to duplicate that, and the sec, the one you create, just drag that into your folder. Um, so this gives you that information here where it says custom overrides so what we want to do is I usually rock and roll because I hardly ever use that and click the little circle and the animation that we created was dummy song um, so double click that or you can drag and drop if it appears in the same file path so yeah that's essentially you added it to the rock and roll so you click on the avatar and this custom override, the duplicate one that you've created, all you have to do is drag and drop to the um, area here, the custom animations and that's it done, so keep this one invisible the one where without the sound you can just go ahead and upload that and then whatever gesture you've picked when you do that in game that will trigger the avatar to switch to the second one where the music is then active and that's how you do it.